I have a box. A mystery box. A mystery box that contains two unknown species of ants. Not that they're new species or anything, I just don't know what they are. Tony from Stateside Ants sent this to me because he thought it would be fun to send me a mystery box of mystery ants. But enough about the box. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that every time I introduce a new type of ant to my collection, we discover different behaviors and personalities which makes the hobby really fun. My harvester ants, the bulldozers, honestly make me laugh with just how weird they are. My long-legged ants, the raiders of Arrakis, are feisty little hunters that are just itching for a fight. My lone carpenter ant queen, Laura Croft, who survived six months underground after I thought she was dead, has a single giant larva that she's very protective of. And my trio of honeypot ants I caught, who I've been calling Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup, are currently in the founding stage of starting their own colonies. The point is, whatever species are in this box are bound to have their own personalities and quirks we get to observe. So, without further delay, let's see what we got. And thank you to Stateside Ants for this fun surprise. Whoa, these are some very tiny ants. I counted about a hundred workers and the tube still has a lot of room. And look at those noggins. These are definitely big headed ants. Okay, stop the video for a second. So there's this guy, Matthew Yanchek, that's been leaving comments on every single video, telling me that I should get a colony of Fidoli bicarinata, which are big headed ants. <laughs> it's even in his profile pic. Well, Matthew, today is your lucky day because this species is Fidoli bicarinata. I truly didn't know that big headed ants were so small. I had to get a new lens just to get close ups. Just look at them next to my desert long legged ants who now look like towering giants. Those bobble headed workers serve as the colony's muscle, using their oversized skulls to crush seeds, defend the nest, and haul around food like tiny forklifts. But of course, they need a name and a logo. I've decided to name this colony the Megamines. For obvious reasons, I thought this was fitting, and their leader shall be known as Queen Cerebella, continuing with the brainy theme. The second species is Tetramorium immigrans, the immigrant pavement ant. Now, pavement ants may sound kind of boring because they don't have a visible party trick like massive heads or bubble butts, but let me tell you why they're arguably even more impressive. Originally from Europe, these ants hitched a ride to North America over two centuries ago. Now, they're one of the continent's most common urban dwellers. Masters of adaptation, pavement ants like building intricate nests under sidewalks and foundations. Every spring, rival colonies turn sidewalks into battlegrounds, fighting over their right to rule the streets. Thousands are killed in these territory wars, but they have the numbers, with gangs being able to reach over 10,000 rebels, all orchestrated by a single queen pin. In fact, these ants are so tough and adaptable that in 2014, their resilience earned them a spot aboard the International Space Station, helping scientists study behavior in microgravity. That's right. This exact species has been to space. With all that in mind, I'm naming this colony the Concrete Rebels, the urban brawlers of the city streets, organized by their boss, the Queen Pin. I don't want to risk feeding them in the tube and letting them out, so I'm going to put them in their own outworlds. No sand though, it's already hard enough recording these tiny ants without them camouflaging against the dirt. I made sure to use an outworld with super thin air slits so they can't escape. Let's unleash the mega mines first. I pulled out the cotton, and immediately they were early investigators. Rumors started to spread across the test tube that there was an opening in their headquarters way down at the far end of the corridor. Suddenly, chaos, with the ants outside the nest darting left and right trying to figure out what was going on. I dropped in a fruit fly, which was discovered by this worker. Then this major came along and was about to haul it into- oh, okay never mind. Let's leave this party for a minute and visit the Concrete Rebels, who are huddled up at the back of the test tube, except for a few scouts down at the far side that were futilely trying to dig their way out. Time to open the gates and see what happens. 
As ants started rushing out to explore, these two messengers brought word back to the colony. You could practically hear them yelling, guys, you're not gonna believe this. Hearing the biggest news of their little lives, a line of workers started marching down the street to see for themselves. It was such a big deal that even the queen pin had to come and see the open tube with her own eyes. And this little one was having a Samwise Gamgee moment. If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. Back at Megamind HQ, that major finally came back around for the fruit fly. One super helpful worker decided to hitch a ride on top of the fly. There was a lot going on. Check out this new major who hasn't darkened yet. They're kind of squishy until their exoskeleton is fully hardened. I watched them drink a single drop of nectar, which looked like a swimming pool. And the best thing about this was, whoa, <laughs> we got a runner. How did she get out? I found a teeny tiny crack between the panels that she was able to squeeze through, which gave me an idea of how good these ants might be at escaping if I'm not careful. So I patched the crack with some tape. These ants are really cute, with their short little legs and lobed antennas. I let this one hang out with me on my desk for a while. Weeks later, I found a plant starting to grow inside the Megamind's HQ. They must be running some experiments. The plant kept growing over the next week or so, and I kind of like it. Honestly, I think these two colonies are great. Both species are extremely hardy and easy to keep, making them ideal for beginners. I'm sure there will be plenty of new adventures that unfold as they continue to grow, but for now, we'll just have to wait and see as the story of the ants marches on. If you enjoyed this story, drop a like and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.